Hi, I'm Reba Hervis, Artistic Director at Overshadowed Theatrical Productions. Welcome to this episode of From the Wings. Thank you, Rebecca Leland, for joining me again this it's week. It's a joy and a pleasure. What are we going to talk about? Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> no, it always is. It really is. <laughs> well, I think it's a joy and privilege to be with you. So thank you. This week, we're going to talk about <gasps> standing ovations. Ooh. What every artist on stage lives for. Strives for. Do we live for that? We love it. I mean, we don't live for it. Do but we you love feel it. like you fail if you don't ooh, get it? Ooh, no, but you know you did a good thing if you get it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Do you, or is it peer pressure? No. Oh, who would say that? <laughs> Where, like, okay, so let's say you're sitting in the middle, and the people stand up in front of you, and then you can't see the people taking their bow anymore, and you're like, oh, I don't really think that, they deserved it, so I'm going to stand up. Or, or does it give you a little like, okay, now I can do it? Because obviously there's some people that we have in the audience that you yeah. always know is in the audience because they yeah. laugh super loud. They clap super loud. They always stand love up. Love those people. We love those people. Yeah. Um, we also love the other people, but we don't mm. know that they're there unless they make a clap, make a sound, or stand at the end. Like giving the audience the permission and letting them know like, no, we would love to hear you. Like obviously we talked about uh, medieval times we don't want tomatoes like we wouldn't want no to know that you're there there or potatoes or potatoes that would hurt so bad <laughs> did they throw potatoes i think they threw everything <laughs> they could at them that's horrifying <laughs> yeah no potatoes i always tell my audience my cast members don't feel bad if they're not laughing at their same spot because every audience is different but yeah but you're sitting there like you guys don't take it personally i will take it personally i will for take you. it for you <laughs> exactly well, the reason this all came up for me okay. is, do you know the name Leah Michelle? Oh, yes, I do. I'm what? on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> what are they saying about her? Oh, the TikTok. tea. Okay, so right now she um, got cast in Funny Girl. Right. On Broadway. Which is something we're going to talk about. But Huge. go ahead. Um, but there are some maddy, maddy, maddy people about it because okay. she was in a show called Glee. Right. And so that makes people mad that she's in it. They, uh, they're mad that she's in it because they don't think she's a good person. So they oh. don't like who she's done or what she's allegedly done, which is apparently um, allegedly some of the cast members that were in Glee with her said that she um, said racial slurs toward them or she did microaggressions toward them. Um, and then the population of people just took that and said okay we're canceling her because we are in cancel culture nowadays welcome you say one wrong thing you're out and about and you don't even get over. to apologize it's, it's just over done. i heard yeah. that she called her castmates in glee cockroaches oh and said she wanted to poop in their wigs <laughs> except she didn't use that word here's my thing haven't we all been there <laughs> Oh, kidding. great. I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to get canceled now. Great. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Here's my thing. Like, okay, that's not a nice thing to say. But at the same time, doesn't that sound like kind of like elementary school And drama? how old was she? Was she, was she young or was she? 20 something. Yeah. But okay, but when it comes to like theater, grow up, I guess. And like if someone says, I mean, you're a cockroach. Okay, well, do you know you're not a cockroach? Okay, then move on. You know what I mean? I don't know. I love it that you're not sensitive. So, <laughs> sometimes uh, artists are sensitive. I'm sensitive. I, I, I love it that I you mean, can look at it yes. so realistically and I don't say know. that. Right. But if someone called me a cockroach, I'd be crying in the corner, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> Reba, she <laughs> called, called me a cockroach. cockroach. <laughs> yeah, have you seen Glee? Like you've, like, yeah, yeah, don't tell my mom. <gasps> oh, what's I wasn't supposed to ask that. It's okay. Donna knows now. I watched Glee when I was in high school. <laughs> Somehow or another, her subscription. Yeah. So her subscription or subscription. Yeah, her, her subscription. <laughs> Will be canceled. Which, if you are not subscribed oh, yes. to From the Wings on YouTube, it is free now free. for the next week. For the so next you need week. to click, 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 click that subscribe button. Oh, this is your time. This is your time you, to shine. Would you want to miss this? No. I don't think so. And if anything, even if you do want to miss it, it's so nice. <laughs> to you, subscribe. you actually don't have to watch them. Just subscribe. Just subscribe. No yeah. hate speech because that would be you might amazing. get canceled. We it's get the digital new, standing ovation new, for us. Yes, it is. Get yeah. a new subscriber. Get Just one. like, share. So I read an article where a reviewer was sitting in the audience for Funny Girl. For Funny Girl. And he was talking about not really being super excited to see wow, it. Wow, okay. Because he wasn't a super yeah. fan. Yeah. But he had this girl next to him in the audience who had 
obviously grown up in the days of Glee and said she'd seen every episode of Glee five times. Okay, obviously. You know, for a th- theater person, I kind of understand that. Because oh, yeah. it was kind of fun to see these high schoolers stumbling through. Singing. Well, singing and, yeah, what they were killing doing. it. Yeah, exactly. So this girl was like beyond excited oh, about so getting to see excited. her in person. But the thing that was amazing is he said he kept making these little rude comments about her, but nobody paid any attention. They were just so focused on when is she going to go out on stage? He said it all went away for him when the animosity, the animosity towards her when she walked out and started singing and was so breathtakingly talentedly beautiful yeah he said he lost count of how many standing ovations people <sighs> gave her during the show <gasps> whoa is that allowed yes whoa so talking about that when i saw wizard the very first time wizard right <laughs> wizard of oz no w- like the the one. wicked wicked <laughs> i was why am I was I, like, ooh, like, wizard. Wait a minute. That is the wrong name. What am I trying to think of? <laughs> and then you that? were like, you tell me. I was like, I don't know what you saw. <laughs> uh, when I saw Wicked the first time, the, because I've seen it like eight times. So the very first time that I saw Slow it, flex. every time a new character walked out, the audience stood up and clapped. It's the only time I've ever experienced something wow. like that. And I thought that is super cool because wow. this audience was super ready and they loved every person that was going to wow. do it. So yes, it is an electric experience when you see an audience that is that into what you're doing. Yeah. But I've still never seen anybody stop a show multiple times because they loved somebody character. so much. <gasps> he said she was brilliant. Wow. So that the challenge for me then as a director and maybe us for actors is how do we get to the point that people that we are delivering something that is mm. so good mm. that people forget their doubts. They forget mm. their animosity. Mm. They forget all of that because we just give them something spectacular. Wow. I think it's a challenge. Oh, a challenge. I think your casts, and if you vision cast that, I think they'll catch on to. Or I want to see it now. Yeah, you want to go to New York? Should we go? And then we we cut this, and we're in live in New we're York. In York. <laughs> it's <laughs> from the wings live. <laughs> Put down below if you would like us to go to New York, and we'll bring you with us. Ooh, I've like never this. been to New York, so this would be so much fun. I know, I know, girl. I've, I've only ever seen Chicago, Broadway. I need to take you to New York. Let's go, guys! Please for me. <laughs> All right. Well, there's the challenge for today. Boom. Until next time. It's just me and me talking to you from, from the, the wings. wings.